Hi guys, Black Hills Designs here. Today I wanted to go over some of the math uh, behind the Ranger card. And I know when you guys hear math, it's, it looks super complicated, and you know I'm not here to take you to school, but we're going to make this really easy to understand, right? With the Ranger card, we have three known variables. We have the height of the object that we're ranging. We have an 18-inch focal distance, which is the 18-inch string that you hold in your teeth when you hold the ranger card out in front of you. And the third variable that we have that you guys don't see is this X. X represents the known height of the cut curve in the ranger card as you see it, right? I don't know if that'll get in focus there for you, but you should be able to see that right there. And we have our graduated range all the way out to, in this example, 500 meters. And when we're using the object in the reticle, all we're doing is lining it up from the toppest of the tallest point to the lowest point. And wherever it fits in the reticle is where it's going to range at. Now, you might ask, well, what if it's in between here? Well, we know that the midpoint between 100 meters and 200 meters is 150 meters, right? So if the guy is this tall, I'm going to assume that it's probably 150 meters or very close. And if the guy is on this side of the 150 meter curve, I'm going to assume that it's probably closer to 175 meters. And if he's on this side of that, I'm going to assume that he's probably closer to 125 meters. And that's how you can pretty accurately estimate the range of whatever object you're ranging with your Black Hills Designs Range R card. 